Hong Kong, also known as the Pearl of the Orient, tends to be associated with bears and dazzling night fields of Victoria Harbour and skyscrapers. However, light pollution also comes as a serious consequence. So, does the city of lights provide more advantages or drawbacks to Hong Kong? Hong Kong has been declared as the worst on the planet in terms of light pollution since 2013. The brightest in both urban and suburb areas have been recorded a hundred times higher than the international standard. However, the nightscape attracts more than millions of tourists to visit Hong Kong every year. So, will there be any big differences in perspectives between the tourists and their local residents? In this episode, we will use the light meter application in smartphone to determine the light intensity in Jim Sa Choi, Causeway Bay, and Nam Sen Wei. Besides, the viewpoint of foreigner and local toward light in Hong Kong were collected through the street interview and questionnaire. Let's see what we have found. What we've seen so far is really pretty. Really, really bright. Yeah, that's have, crazy. Have you right? seen that in person? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's um, ridiculously bright. Yeah, I think it's because there are a lot of people who don't have a light bulb. Yeah, there is some pollution. Light pollution. But uh, I think it's very pretty. I always think you have to change the light bulb. Actually, in the Hong Kong, the neighborhood is quite a lot. So, in general, you can see that the light bulb is a lot more bright. I do prefer being in the countryside because it's darker. Why? 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 Detailed street interviews conducted aside, a questionnaire regarding the lights in Hong Kong was administered to collate opinions concerning lights in Hong Kong. A total number of 52 questionnaires was received and data analyzed revealed the following. There are 42% local respondents find the lights in Hong Kong are annoying, while 97.4% of them think that light pollution is a problem exists in Hong Kong. Similar results are obtained from foreigners. 64% of them think that the lights are quite annoying, and 92.9% .9 of them think that the light pollution exists in Hong Kong. When comparing Hong Kong and places outside Hong Kong, the majority of both local and foreign interviewees pointed out that there are more lights, billboards, and neon signs in Hong Kong. They also agreed that the lights harm the natural environment and waste energy while boosting the tourism sector by enhancing the appearance of the city. For locals, 55% of the respondents vote for Wan Chai District as the place that has the most serious light pollution followed by 50% for Yao Ching Wong's district. Both Island District and Saigon District are having the least light pollution problem. When we talk about illuminance, we talk about light source measured on a plane in a specific location. And we measure this kind of data in a unit of lux, which is a standard unit of illuminance. So in a broad daylight like today, the illuminance should be around 1,000 lux or even higher. For this radio, illuminance was measured in Tim Sa Choi, Causeway Bay, and Nam San Huai. The reading of Tim Sa Choi varied between 3,168 lux and 4,324 lux before sunset, and it drops to between 100 lux and 788 lux after sunset. The data recorded at night indicate over illuminance inside the Chim Sa Choi area, and similar figures are recorded in Causeway Bay. Data recorded in Nam San Huai shows the illuminance before sunset is 3,261 lux, but 34 lux after sunset, which is within the normal range of illumination standard. Lights are both good and bad for Hong Kong. Their effects can be divided into three categories personal health, economy, and the environment. In terms of health, 
High intensity of light can affect the sleeping quality by disturbing the secretion of melatonin, a hormone that regulates sleep and wake cycle. This hormone can only be released in the dark. Once its secretion is disrupted, the whole circadian rhythm is affected. Economically, the number of visitor arrivals exceeds 50 million in 2017. Lights help to accentuate the architectural structures and scenery of the city. Famous for its lights and skyscrapers, the total tourism expenditure in the first half of 2017 in Hong Kong is over 141 billion, a significant number that certainly boosts its economy. For environmental aspects, artificial lights harm the ecosystem by interfering with nighttime activities. Nocturnal animals sleep during the day but are active at night. Lights can affect their routine activities, thus disrupting any possible procreation. It may also cause serious reduction in or extinction of a particular species. In Hong Kong, over 50% of electricity is generated by burning coal. The demand for electricity in Hong Kong is incredibly high. Moreover, burning coal pollutes the air. It produces particulates and carbon dioxide that adversely affect the atmosphere and even aggravate global warming. Neon lights is always a controversial topic in Hong Kong. While lights help Hong Kong economically in terms of shopping paradise, excessive energy usage, as discussed earlier, has disrupted the ecosystem, biological clocks of humans, and the clean atmosphere. Striking a balance is essential to sustain both economy and environment of Hong Kong. Considering the severity of light pollution in Hong Kong, should we keep the lights or dim the lights?